this isn't your old school college dorm room cooking we're talking this morning, like trying to make those French toast sandwiches on an iron or something crazy <laughs> like this. Chef Troy has got some gourmet meals that you can make with simple little preparation techniques. I was going to try the whole iron thing, well, you, but I, it, to me it doesn't seem very safe or sanitary. So I decided <laughs> to go. Uh, that's part of the reason I'm 800 pounds right now, because I tried that and I'm probably still uh, digesting some of the pieces of the iron that I tried to make so that sandwich with. still using iron to cook? Well, I used to. Oh, okay. I'm still trying to get over that. All right. All right what are you going to make for us? All right. Now, this is, I call it late night toaster oven in Tuscany. Okay. It's basically a bread pizza. <laughs> okay. Bread pizza. All but right. just like I was just telling you, though, there is some technique. And basically, you can use any kind of bread you want. I went to the Fresh Market, got some good Italian bread. Now, what I did with the toaster oven, now I'm not, I don't use the toaster oven a whole lot. So okay. to me, this was, you know, if I'm going to do this, you know, in real life, I'm mm -hmm. going to grill it. But if you don't have a grill, turn the toaster oven on the broil setting. Okay. Put a little olive oil on it and put it under until it's nice and toasted on the top, and then you'll see on the bottom it's not. Okay, and the broiler just cooks from the top, right? Right. Okay. So then when you go to cook your pizza, you want to change it from the broil setting to the bake setting. Okay. So that way, you're, you know, the cheese is going to melt, but then the bottom is going to get, you know, kind of toasty and all that good stuff. So we've got oil on there already. Now, tomatoes are in season, so if you want to use fresh tomatoes, you can. But, um, you know, obviously, you know, one of the things you want to do when you're in college, you want to stock a pantry a little bit, um, you know, with some canned stuff. You know, and I say canned stuff, I don't mean... You know, like you know, canned macaroni and cheese, canned chili. I mean, stuff that you can you can use ingredients. Obviously, you know, kids are going to do that. I'm a realist. I was in college, you know, yeah. and I'm not saying I did a bunch of gourmet stuff when I was in college, but I did get tired of eating the same thing. So I, I tried some different stuff. Okay. Uh, tomatoes are in season. If you want to use fresh tomatoes, it works perfect for this. That's another reason to have this toasted because you know the tomatoes obviously are going to have a little moisture in them, right. and you don't want the bread to get it. It absorbs that. Exactly. Okay. Now the thing with tomatoes, whether they come in a can or they come out of you know a garden or a farmer's market. Or you stole them from the cafeteria, wherever you got them from, <laughs> you still got to season them. And then, whatever cheese you like, I just got some real thin mozzarella cheese. Okay. You know, that's another thing, too. You know, you can buy the cheese that's, you know, in the little zipper pack. It's going to stay, right. you know, fresh for a while. And then, you still want to drizzle this with just a little bit of olive oil, just, just on the top. And that's one thing you should keep, not necessarily olive oil, but, you know, keep some kind of oil because, you okay. know, even like the rice that we're going to talk about here in a second that we did earlier. You know, we used a little oil on that to keep it separated. Okay. So basically what we do now is then we put that in the oven, mm -hmm. and then the end result is you're going to put it in there until the cheese is golden and gooey. And this is better than calling, I'm not going to call any names, but, you know, delivery. Ooh. I used to do a lot of delivery in college, and I'd write checks that, you know, none of them, you know, made it. <laughs> now bounce, so I got a lot of free pizza. Uh, but uh, <laughs> probably shouldn't have told on myself like that. <laughs> That was 25 years ago. Yeah, the statute of limitations isn't necessarily yeah, up on that no, one. No, I, I ended up, did, I, I did pay for all that stuff, but, you know, a couple of them did miles. So what I'm saying is, is <laughs> you've got stuff in your room, uh -huh. or you can jack it from the cafeteria, and you can make some gourmet food out of it. Chef Troy was a college <laughs> crook. Good Lord. I like that quote, jack it from the cafeteria, yeah, just, just steal cafeteria. it. Just Put take it. Behind your back take what you need. Oh, yeah, fill your pockets. Oh, That's what backpacks are for, right? right? right exactly. I want to talk about that shrimp right there very quickly. The shrimp was easy. Uh -huh. Basically, just oil, water, uh, rice, salt, and pepper, and you put it in there for about eight to ten minutes, depending on your microwave. Mm -hmm. We're covered, and then you just let it stand so it finishes steaming. We put the shrimp in there on top after the rice was done for a minute, minute and a half until the shrimp. And, was and a good so gift for the college students would be to get them all this stuff, because let's be yeah. real, a lot of times they don't even have the salt and pepper. Exactly. Oil, salt, and pepper. I mean, you're obviously going to need you know a few things to season with. This is another thing. You know, I put some fresh basil <laughs> on top of this. I thought that, that was a tree for my college day. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Wow! wow. Between the two of you, it's amazing that you become good members of the society. I'm not talking about that kind of tree, Derek Jane. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this edition of Fox News Rising. The FNR College Tour continues tomorrow. Make sure to watch Jill's husband, Izzy, tonight on Fox News at 10. I'll be watching. <laughs>